Well, everyone, this is going to be a quick demo of the Comma 3 Driver Assistant System running Sunday Pilot 0.9.4 at dusk. I'm in a Kia EV6 right now. You can see the system is engaged. It's doing all the steering. That's what the cyan highlight around the device means. I'll temporarily disengage it right now, so I'm doing full manual driving. And yeah, this uh, software here, Sunny Pilot, allows you to have separate controls of the active steering and the cruise control. The regular stock open pilot links the two together, so you can just do right there. I just enabled steering assist, so I'm doing all the speed acceleration controls with the accelerator pedal, and I can just use the regular cruise control. You can see right there, regular cruise control is engaged. So yeah, it's doing all the steering. And it's doing pretty good at, at dusk here on a divided highway, or a freeway, I should say. So yeah, I'll show you an example of it taking the next exit. So yeah, we're coming up on the exit here. I'm gonna disengage the cruise. So I'm now full manual driving on the accelerator pedal, and then you just signal once you're near the off-ramp, and it'll change lanes, and it'll also change lanes on a multi-lane roadway. So yeah, I just have to nudge the wheel to confirm, and I believe this lane turns right, so I'll have to go over one lane. So just nudge the wheel to confirm. And yeah, it does pretty good even around curves here. You just have to slow down, and you can see it can take a curve hands-free. And when it comes to a tighter turn, you'll just have to do that manually. So I'm gonna get back on the freeway here, US 70 East. And you can see right here, it turns to gray. And you have to just do that manually, but yeah, once you're back on a straightaway, it'll re-engage itself. So yeah, we're just going to take this on-ramp here. It's a pretty simple on-ramp. And you do have a little bit of a merge lane as well. So you can see it handles well. And then right here, you just signal and nudge the wheel, and it will complete the lane change. It works pretty good when the lane lines are well marked. I'll show you another example here in the dusk where the lane lines aren't present or are pretty faded. Okay, and coming up right here is an example of a curve in the road with a very, very faint center line. So let's see how it does. Just gotta slow down. And yeah, it takes it pretty good. Even though the center line is really faded and really dark, and you have the glare from the oncoming traffic, it does pretty good except at the end right there, but I think that was because of the glare. But you can see the center line is super faint just to the left of me. So yeah, it handles that curve pretty good. The stock system wouldn't be able to do anything at all because the lane lines are so faint. So yeah, the system is pretty good. And you can see on the visualization, the light, the thin green line means it does detect a center line there on the left. And finally, here's an example of a row with only a center line, but a pretty clear center line here. And we'll see how the system does. Even with the glare from the oncoming headlights, it's still doing pretty good. Keeping me well centered on the road, not too far to the edge. And then right here, the lines split a little bit to have a center turn lane. That's a little bit faded, so I couldn't see that. But it sees it now that I nudge the wheel a little bit. And the center turn lane ends. So yeah, being drifted over to the left like it should be. So it does pretty well. It doesn't keep you too far to the right. So yeah, that's going to be it for this quick demo test video of the Comma 3X and Sunny Pilot 0.9.4 at dusk. Thank you.